article titled Newborns Exposed to Dirt Dander and Germs Have Lower Allergy and Asthma Risk. And this research article, and it is a research article, it is not just a hypothesis, was published this June 6, 2014 in the Journal of Allergy and Clinical Immunology. Now this plays into something which is known as called hygiene hypothesis, meaning we did such a great job with sanitation during the turn of the century that we may have done just too good a job and now our immune system doesn't know how to balance itself. Well, this is what researchers discovered. And it comes down to newborns. And I'm really touchy about reading this, but however though, it may have some impact. And it is science, but just please read the research and study it first before you start doing anything on your own. There's by the age of one, researchers discovered that the immune system requires challenges in order to properly modulate itself to protect itself from allergies and wheezing. So what they looked at is 467 inner city children and they followed them for three years and measured the bacteria and during their house and the whole lineup. This is what they discovered. They found that infants exposed to mouse, cat, dander, and cockroach droppings, cockroach droppings, basically were only, when they were exposed to all three of these, what they call bacterial rich environments, only 17% of those children ever developed a wheeze by the age of three. Compared to those, which are clean, 51% developed a wheeze by the time they were age of three. Meaning that their children whose immune systems were challenged by the age of one, had a well-trained, a, a well-modulated immune system. On top of that, in those infants exposed to what they term bacterial rich environments, I guess it's a positive spin on something which would normally not be very positive, they discovered that 41% of those children who were exposed to all three of mouse, candor, cat dander, cockroach droppings, da 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 everything else you normally see CPS called on for. Only 41% of those children, I should say, 41% of those children were totally allergy and wheeze free by the time they're age three. They didn't have any incidents of that. Compared to only 8% of the children who were developed, who were exposed to all three, developed any allergies or wheezing by, again, the age of three. So there's something to it. The more dirt or more disgusting stuff that you have in an environment, the better your immune system becomes trained. Again, 467 children, they followed for three years, measured the dirt, bacteria, and cockroach droppings in the house, which really had to be kind of embarrassing, and found out the kids who lived in the dirtiest households, at least the ones that made it, had the lowest incidence of wheezing and the lowest opportunity or should lowest chance of developing allergies or wheezing on its own. Again, not made up, published 6th of June 2014 in the Journal of Allergy and Clinical Immunology. Thank you once again.